Hi friends, welcome to Aishu's DIY. Today we will design a necklace using the 6mm pearls and I have some leftover 6mm uh, this coral color after doing this beautiful bracelet. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch this. It's a very simple design and it's easy to make. I also made another bracelet which is this, which is also very simple. I will have to uh, make a video on that I just made this and tried it out and I really liked it so I will make a video on that too uh, now we shall see a necklace with this it's going to be a wire um, working um, project so if you are up for it I have here some bead spaces these are six millimeter it's not a daisy spacer it's a flower spacer and it's not even spacer it's a bead cap but it's a very shallow bead cap as you can see this is how it is like very thin so this is what i have i might use um some uh, spacer beads which is this one right here but i'm not so sure so i have a design i thought about a pattern let's just get this i know this yellow is not very very golden and this one is really bright gold but this is the 24 gauge i have so i'm gonna work with what i have um i have very less amount of that yellow gold 24 gauge wire so i'm not using it but anyways i'm using 24 gauge you can also use 26 gauge but i wouldn't go more than that or less than that 22 gauge is also fine I'm using 24 and um, these beads are also from the same box sorry that's my daughter doing her violin practice so I'll try to be as loud as possible so that you can guys can hear me clear hear me clearly sorry and then um, I to figure out a pattern what I usually do is I add the spacer bead first or I mean maybe I don't use the spacer bead that's what I'm thinking so first let's uh, oh no let's just add the spacer bead and see how it is the pattern the six millimeter pearl then this bead then a bead cap then this uh, red six millimeter bead and then a bead cap so the bead cap almost covers my bead and there is a little bit of overlap i i'm kind of okay with it if you're not there is um you can use a smaller size bead uh, cap or even a spacer bead would work fine these are three millimeter metallic spacer bead anyways and this is the pattern you can actually string this pattern in a uh, bead stringing wire and then you know uh, you can call it a day or you can actually do this part or do this part and i don't like this but i do like this part so what I'm going to go ahead and do is take my round nose pliers bend about say an inch or so just to make a wrap loop and just make that loop right here and then if you have a little bit longer of the tail you can have this wrap pretty done very very well if you have a shorter tail it's difficult to have that wrap consistent and even whenever you are doing this for the first time or you are just learning to do wire wraps i would suggest to take a little bit longer wire to do your wraps than shorter wire take your pliers and tuck the tail in this is what I have so far 
And then so I didn't cut the wire. I worked with the spool. Just about that much wrap is good enough. And snip it off right there. See that short tail right there? I hope you guys can see that. I'm going to go ahead and tuck that in. Just like so. So this is a connector. It's going to be several connectors. And we can design a pattern whichever we like. As you can see one loop is this way. One loop is this way. You can straighten that loop and make it on a straight line basis. And I really like this one. So, so this is going to be, I'm going to do a connector with just these beads. Maybe this one right here. Does that look good? Or just the bead? Maybe a seed bead. Anything works fine for this kind of um, a necklace or even the plain plain pearl will look good. Right? So that's what I'm going to do. So take this. We already have a plain pearl. You can make this like, um, let's see this. I have a 20 gauge in the same wire. What if I do the pearl in a 20 gauge, right? I will just settle everything down right here so that I have a clear space to show you guys. So this is my wire. This is 20 gauge. I open that up, straighten it up. So if you rub your fingers against the wire, right, the heat from your fingers actually softens the wire and straightens it out. Okay, and it is more pliable. And this wire is not flush cut. That means it's tapering. So I'm going to do a flush cut just like that. This is the flush end. This is the tapering end, as you can see. So I did that. Now, put that bead down there. Okay. So we just want to make a basic loop. So just about here, bend it. And then take your round nose pliers. And make a loop. Then, see this, my loop, I mean, my loop ends on the right side. Now, I want to bend the wire on the same side. That way, my loop comes out like this. So, basically, what I'm talking about is, let me tell you guys. So, my bead is right here. This loop is coming and ending this way. Oops, sorry. This loop is coming and ending this way. And I want, so I bend this wire this way so that that loop comes and ends here. So here is the opening, here is the opening. So it's across. It's just like it's more secure this way is what I feel. But I'm sure that it's, I mean, you can do it the other way as well. No problems whatsoever. So let's take this. I like to work with the spool so that I don't waste any wire as such. So whenever you are doing jewelry you are a beginner or you are an expert doesn't matter 
if you are doing it for your own um, hobby or you are spending and doing getting the money for buying jewelry materials it becomes extremely pricey sometimes so i would like to not waste my products because um uh, i'm not being sponsored or i don't work for a beading company or so so i don't get anything free so i will have to buy it for myself so i'm just i just twisted this loop so that they are flat okay so we will make connectors like this and see this i can connect these two and then i can connect this just like that we can do multiple connectors and make a chain if you think that this one is a little bit longer and it will stay like this if it comes in the middle if it is okay i'm fine but if it is not we can keep this as the side and for the center we will just make one link so that goes very well together so but for now i will make several of these connectors and these connectors and come back so that we can join together this way one is a basic loop we can easily open this up and one is a wrapped loop so we can open this and connect it that way we don't have to you know connect it and then do a wrap loop what i mean by that is if you have a wrap loop here and here you won't be able to do it connect it later so you will have to put it in there and then do a wrap loop but this way it's easier so i'm going to do more this one with 24 gauge and this one with 20 gauge the basic loop with 20 gauge the wrap loop with 24 gauge and i will come back hi friends welcome back so see as you guys can see i have created a chain um so these uh findings that we created with a wrap loop and then with the basic loop we created just the pearl these two are the uh findings that we created with the help of some bead caps some of these beads and then some of the uh, six millimeter red um, beads as well so i created a dangle for this so instead of doing this like this i thought this might be a good um, design element see this i have created one more dangle here i used some thin head pins these are 28 gauge maybe it's ball head pin but it is very thin when i added the pearl through this um it came off so the ball is very small the gauge is very thin so i used a 12 seed bead as a stopper bead so whenever you have this problem you guys can use that or create your own head pins so if the head pins the ball or the head is very small and the hole of the bead is big you can use this use a small 11 or seed bead or 12 or seed bead in this case you're good to go then what i did was a wrap loop again because it is a small thinner gauge if you have a, a normal head pin with a thicker gauge you can just do a basic loop you don't have to do a wrap loop all i did was to add this um loop into this one before i closed it because both are wrap loops and we won't be able to open it up uh, or else it won't be of any use so i just wrap it as i said it's a very thin gauge so it easily wraps and this is how i created this tangles and this we already saw how we did the basic loop uh chain it's like a beaded chain kind of now we are done with these how i connected was i connect i opened up say this is the basic loop uh pearl that we did all i did was to open up this um open up this loop okay added this dangle first 
and then added the basic loop let me just zoom in a bit more for you guys to see it clearly and then closed it as how you would open and close a jump ring that's how you open any loop so that you don't distort the shape of the loop now pick the next loop in the chain and then continue the same this is what i did so open up this loop right add this dangle add another um, basic loop and then close that I wasn't worried about the direction because I don't want to worry about um, so added the final one if you want you guys can do the directions as well but I made sure that consistently added the wrap loop first and then the basic loop now I have see you can also hang it like this it looks very pretty as you guys can see this it looks very pretty all you need to do is add a chain up here and then um, I mean just zoom out a bit see this is a very nice uh, Christmas tree kind of a design all you need to do is um, add a chain this can be a pendant as well but we are doing a different design as you guys can see I'm doing it like this so all you need to do is pick it up and then hold it so from here on you can add chain if you want to but I don't want to add a chain I want to add these beads since we have a long strand of beads in GGC treasure bag all the time we have enough beads to work with we don't have to skimp you can have this um, basic loop beaded chain all the way you can add a chain or you can add um, bead stringing wire and string this that's what I wanted to do I want to take a seven strand bead stringing wire not a big deal right so just take that and then add these pearls so I want to uh, follow a pattern so you can do the 12 seed beads and then the pearl a 12 seed bead and a pearl just like that and then we can crimp it here and then attach so this way it will tie everything together you can just do pearls or you can incorporate the coral color 6 millimeter pearls as well as this it's totally up to you for example if you want to see you add this you add that and then a seed bead again and then this just like so it looks pretty as well right um, then you can continue with the pearl for a bit whichever pattern looks good for you you can continue with that right I like this as well and then we can incorporate the coral beads also if you want since we have enough to work with I like this as well so that looks pretty too in my opinion so whichever however you want to actually how whichever appeals to you you can choose that design and then uh, finish this necklace that way so I want to do both um, I think both looks really pretty so I will do two of the pearl and then one of this and then three of the pearl and then one of the coral just like that I would design a pattern and I will string about say six inches so this thing right here if you measure it's about say four inches just think it is four inches okay so six plus four will be ten 
plus 6 will be 16 inches and plus give or take 1 inch for the clasp and then you have 17 inch so this one I don't want it to be a longer one I want it to be next to a choker not like really choker choker but you can also do it really choker choker uh, but I want it to be next to the choker so that's why I wanted to keep it strictly 6 inches for this beaded portion as well I will finish stringing this up and I will see you guys back hi friends welcome back so I have finished one side as you guys can see doesn't matter um, which side it is so I have added the beading chain and I really like the way this uh, pattern is so I followed it with a red one then three then this one then two see this there is no rhyme or reason I just switched between three and two here and there just to give it some interest and it doesn't have to be an exact order and then I um, separated every bead with a seed bead the 12 seed beads that I used in the dangles right here now um, we have so we have up till this I'll tell you guys how I did attach I pick I pick up a um, crumb tube so this is the pattern this is this pattern so I need to join the clasp first I'm using a magnetic clasp you can use any clasp you want attach the magnetic clasp let me see there you go the crimp tube vanished you can use a crimp tube or a crimp bead whichever you have in your stash available take the wire back through the crimp and through the seed bead if you can if you are not able to that's okay just pull everything down So this one needs to be wide enough to accommodate this um, clasp. So I'm just going to make a little bit bigger, wider, so a little bit bigger loop so that it's wide enough to let this magnetic clasp sit this way. I will go ahead and take my pliers, flat nose pliers, needle nose pliers, tweezer nose pliers, whichever you have available in your stash, see how it moves. I will hold it right there and then crimp that in place and see yes it has enough uh, place to move around so now since this tail doesn't go through the seed bead I'm just going to snip it off right at the place where my crimp tube ends so now you can push all the beads this side So we have attached it to the clasp now we will attach it to this uh, end so what you can do here is snip it off about say one and a half inch okay and then add the crimp tube and go through this loop back through the crimp tube and back through the seed bead and um, six millimeter if it can and pull that out see how I'm holding it now I push everything down I hold the speed and then push it down so this way I want a little bit of a gap you can see there is a little bit of a gap I really want that gap I don't want it to be stiff so I go ahead and crimp that and then I snip this excess tail off right there so now our necklace is done and ready so this one is a really really simple necklace but at the same time it makes a statement 
and it's really uh, not that difficult to make this necklace and it's really looks really pretty on you um, so with the magnetic clasp it's easy to put on and the measurement for this length as I told you guys is about say six inches to be perfect so six inches on both sides as uh, since I have added nine dangles so that's the measurement I'm going uh, forward with I hope you guys like this tutorial it's a simple necklace but at the same time it makes a big statement I feel uh, if you do like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification I do upload videos couple of times a week thanks so much for watching have a good day and bye